right, YouTube. This is a bonus clip, kind of, sort of, explanation video of what's happening to the K5 Blazer. I mentioned in one of the previous videos that I might be selling it. And it has, matter of fact, has sold. It's getting picked up tomorrow and going off to a new home. Uh, it's one of them I don't really need to sell or I'm not even that big on wanting to sell it, but I just have entirely too much work to do and too many projects. And uh, I already have my 83 over there, so... I mean, it's not, it doesn't look, it's not a pretty truck, but it's pretty damn functional. So, this is going to be the one that looks good. I mean, there wasn't a lot, a lot of work on this. Uh, I'm not selling it with a motor or trans. I still have the motor and transmission in the back there. So, yeah. After I sold the black Camaro the other day, and now I have sold the... Uh, K5. It has freed up some space here. And uh, we're busy as I'll get out here too. I mean, it's crazy. There's ATVs and UTVs for miles. <laughs> Not really, but I mean, just all over. And there's only like four or five that are actually trade ins. These two uh, are trade ins. That four wheeler and a crew cab over there. I guess there's five. There's that blue one too. And then the rest of these are all to be worked on and it goes around the building and it's crazy. But anyways, this bad boy is going to be leaving. I'm just throwing the seats back in it right now. They're kind of full of water. I may set this one across the front because there's not a lot of room inside of it. That I got two seats. I'm letting the console drain on over there. But yeah, got a bunch of trash out here. I got to throw when the trash guys come, so... Anyways, yeah, I got a few things planned. Got a couple. I got a motor swap I got to do. I don't think it's gonna film any of it. Uh, it's just a quick get in, swap motor, and get out. It's not even my vehicle. Well, the, it is and it is, and it's a long story, and uh, not really for this uh, video. But anyways, this is going bye bye. I will promise you guys right now that this is about a guarantee that this is not the end. There's definitely going to be another square body project at some point. Uh, the 83, obviously, it's... I mean, I'm thought about listing it for sale, but I don't know. It might get listed for sale, but it's going to have an extremely high asking price and probably never sell, so you never know. But, uh, yeah, it's getting air conditioning. That's a, that's a go now. Uh, this is going... Now that I keep looking at it, the more and more I regret selling it. Because, I mean, it could have been a really pretty simple truck to finish. I mean, do the patch the floors, do the rockers, work up in some spots in the inner wheel wells. Yeah, I mean, it would have been a pretty easy truck to clean up. It was a pretty clean truck, really. Uh, but anyways, I mean, it's I haven't touched it in quite a while. Like, I've been working on the motor, but I just haven't finished it. I'm going to get it finished, uh, get it put back together, and get it running. And I'm not 100% sure. It might get sold, or it might get set off to the side. And I'll just start it and run it every occasionally just to uh, let it run, just get fluid and oil through it. But anyhow, this is going... Uh, that leaves me with a couple other projects. I got the 84 TA projects, which I've got a lot of the uh, fuel injection stuff over there. I have the 80 Trans Am, which that LT1 is going to go in. Uh, I'm debating between them two which one's next. Or there's a good chance air conditioning in the 83 is going to happen first. But I don't really know what's going to happen first. But all I know is this bad boy is leaving. The Camaro is gone. Uh, we're dwindling down on projects. Uh, I have a few projects that I haven't discussed in a very, very long time. Uh, but if I remember, I'll throw a picture in here. Uh, 
it's my 1984 Camaro. It's uh, my brown Berlinetta with the digital dash. I still have that car. It's still my car. I've had it for like a long time. It's got some sentimental value to me. It's uh, the last car I had at my brother's shop. And if you guys go way back in my beginning of this channel, you'll see a lot of the videos in this old older shop. And that was where I pretty much my education. And uh, I, it's kind of sentimental to me because it was the last car there that got worked on that I have. And that uh, I haven't seen it in about three years. Uh, I've had it located, kind of stashed. So it, it's probably a total genuine nugget by now, but you know. I got it in a parts car. I ended up getting the parts car because it ended up getting set next to a 86, 87 Firebird V6. And it's a hard top car. And you know my brown Camaro is a T-top car. And I'd like to graph the hard top onto the T-top car. But that's a big future plan. I'd like to do a nice, nice uh, redo on it and make it nice, pretty sharp. The Trans Am, the 80 Trans Am with the, getting the LT1. I'm not 100% sure on that car if I'm keeping it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I might put that motor in it, might get it running, might do some work here and there, make it a decent, uh, reliable driving car, and then send it on the down the road. I don't really know yet. That's just kind of uh, up in the air. My hand is filthy from getting this dug out from over there. I am going to run the mower over there and mow that. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. That's why I dug it out uh, to get it out of the water and out of the grass because of the front clips on a pallet. And I dug the pallet out while it was dry-ish because it rained yesterday pretty bad and it was quite damp because that forklift is about useless once you get it off in the grass. So I'm going to get this put over there on the gravel so it'll be easy to grab when the guy comes to pick it up. I'll just push it up on his trailer load the front clip, get everything, help him get everything tied down, sign the paperwork, and uh, get it gone. So anyways, guys, I thought you guys needed this video just to let you guys know that this one is leaving too. Uh, that's definitely not the end of the channel, that's for sure. Uh, there is definitely other projects. There's little projects here and there. Uh, I'm getting a bunch of LS motors. <laughs> abundance supply i'm gonna have this 5.3 i'm got another 5.3 uh anyways yeah i got those two motors i'm gonna have this uh lm7 out of my blue truck i've got two flash pcms now i have the 411 that was in my camaro i took out put the original pcm i got it back in it and so i got a flashed unlocked 411 pcm i have well then the 411 unlocked pcm for the lt1 or the white camaro Either or, they're both going to have the 411 PCM. Uh, the one that I have is not going to work on that because it has to use the... Uh, it's the LS tune, not the truck OS. And I don't... I can't... Don't have the capabilities of flashing the different style of firmware on there, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not an expert in that. But anyways, this bad boy's leaving tomorrow, so... Sad to say it's going, but it was a learning experience, definitely doing this bed liner. And she is kind of thin in some spots, and it does look pretty good, and it's been out here for quite a while in the sun, and it's held up really good. So, I mean, it's probably pretty good stuff. Uh, the undercoating's held up relatively well, too. I mean, I'm not uh, not uh, against that undercoating at all. I'm definitely thinking the uh, white TA is going to get some of that underneath it, get some loving. Uh, yeah, so anyways, we'll uh, catch you guys in the next video. Hope you have a good rest of your day.